Hey you guys and welcome to another vlog. This is going to be a weekend vlog, not a weekly vlog. This is a weekend vlog. <laughs> so today is Friday and I know I look crazy you guys. I feel like I say that all the time in all my vlogs because <laughs> y'all, first of all, let me just give y'all an update because my life lately has been so, when I say it's been ghetto, I have not did anything YouTube related. I haven't even really been on Instagram, like on my Insta stories and stuff, because life just been kicking my ASS, okay? So, first of all, let me let me go into what y'all see. As you can see, I have tape on my glasses. My glasses did break before, but I super glued them back together, and then they broke again, so I had to put tape on it. So, I'm going to eventually super glue it again, but I just ain't going to get super glue. I know somebody like, why you just won't go get new glasses? I don't have the time really I don't have time to go through all of that and then I think that I have to um, I believe my prescription is expired so I will have to get a new exam like I just right now mentally I'm just not there then the other day I noticed I had all these scratches on my skin now I do suffer from eczema but I don't know like I didn't even realize it was this bad until I had put on a dress so I'm trying to get that situated because it is just all these scratches on my skin. I've been trying to put like bio oil and you know, so it could just go ahead and go, go on, go on about his business. And um, so let me just catch y'all up. I'm not gonna go into too much details because I just, I don't like everybody in my business like that. But um, so first of all, I'm really going through a season right now. Like I'm just frustrated. I feel like I'm burnt out. I just, it's just, I, I don't know. I'm just tired and um, I've been feeling really, really tired. And I thought that it was because of like daylight savings time is coming. So I felt like that since it was getting dark earlier, it was making me more tired. But I don't know. It's like I just have not been able to really like get out the bed. I try to wake up early, but I have not been able to get out the bed early. So that's been a factor. Then um, I feel like I'm just like emotionally drained. That's probably why it's been a hard time. So last week, when I say we, I mean my family, we had two deaths and i think it really took a toll on me because even though i have experienced people dying before like i experienced death before um i don't think i have i never experienced it with somebody that i like talk to a lot so the person that passed away which i'm not going to go into detail i don't want to cry the person that passed away was somebody that i talked to all the time and it really hurt me so yeah so that happened and then like a couple of days later my dad called me and said that somebody else passed away that was really really close to him but I knew this person also I saw him all the time you know he knew me and my kids like he knew um, so it just was like really taking a toll emotionally and then Khalil, which is the twin boy, he had an accident. Um, he pulled down the iron and it burnt his face. And that really like, I was so bothered by that because I'm just like, you know, my baby, he's a baby. And you know, his face was just like, it was bad, but I took him to the ER and he was actually okay. It wasn't, I guess, as bad as I thought it was because honestly, he didn't even really cry that much when it happened. He cried more so when I took him to the hospital. So when we took him to the hospital, they had to do like a full examination and everything like that. And everything was okay. So they gave me medicine for his skin. So finally, his skin is to the point now where it's like not, um, like not like it's not it don't have any like uh fluids coming out of it and it is no it's no longer any like scabs up on his skin now it's just like pink because the skin is trying to grow back so 
I feel better about that and I'm and honestly it didn't take long this happened last Wednesday so it's been like a little bit over a week now um so it's just uh y'all and then it's just like my trainer I haven't been going to my training session and he told me he texted me yesterday and told me that he couldn't train me right now because he has some other stuff going on so it's just one thing after the other and then on you know then after that I was cleaning my glasses then my glasses broke again so you know how like stuff just happened and then it's like do you get a flat tire like great just put the cherry on top will you so that's what's been going on in my life I don't mean to come on camera being like a Debbie Downer but that's just what's been going on so I haven't been filming any YouTube videos at all so I said well let me just start out with doing a vlog because I feel like that, that would get me back in the groove and it's kind of easier because I don't have to set up for it you know I don't have to like do my makeup for it I ain't got to do any of those things but you guys my skin is really going through it right now I don't know if it's because of stress or if it's because of the temperature changing because I do notice that um when I am going through something I notice that my skin starts like my eczema starts flaring up so I don't know but I really been like it's, it's you can see it around my neck it's like yeah but even now the two what's wrong boo boo so anyway I'm about to go into the gym um this weekend we do have some festivities coming up my son Noel which is my what's wrong boo boo but my son Noel which is my six year old his birthday is on the 27th and he's going to be turning seven of course this weekend though we are taking him to hollow screen which is at bush garden so i'm really excited about that because i love spooky season i love hollow screen and i feel like he really would like it because he's really into like he's into that type of stuff like halloween stuff um he be watching like jason i just be like and you know he'll be scared he do not be scared but um that's just the type of stuff that he like and like i know he's a child but if that's what he uh, is into you know he knows that it's not real so if that's what he's into i try to let him be into it because you never know where that may go you know what i'm saying he might be you know you don't know you don't know you know you don't know where it may lead but he's really into that so we're gonna take him to bush gardens so that's tomorrow tonight we are just like supposed to be watching the Halloween movie um, that came out. So we're going to watch that and probably order some pizza and wings or whatever. I thought about making some wings because they so expensive to like buy. But it's only going to be, well, it's, we're going to have a whole family there, honestly. All of us going to be there. So that's what we're doing. And... Um, today I have to go to Crocs because I want all of us to wear like all black and then orange Crocs. So I have to go to the Crocs store today and Noel already has orange Crocs. They're actually in here. He already has orange Crocs and I just need to get some orange Crocs and get Elijah some orange Crocs. And, um, I already have like a black wetsuit thing so I don't have to get that for me but I do want to go and see what they have for them so that's the goal for today I also need to go home and fold clothes I've been washing not folding though <laughs> um I haven't really been doing anything productive you guys which that's been really like messing with my mind because I was doing so good like going to the gym going to my training sessions waking up me, you know listening to meditation music uh reading my devotional reading motivational books i was doing so good and now i'm like i haven't been doing none of that for a whole week for a whole week so it's like really taking a toll on my mind and body because i just been so tired so i'm trying to get it together because i'm like listen Okay, we got things to do, baby. I ain't gonna need hold you. 
I definitely pulled out of the gym. <laughs> now I'm at Starbucks. So, what we getting from Starbucks, y'all? What are we getting from Starbucks? Because I never get their breakfast, but I definitely want to try the breakfast. I be seeing people get the egg white and roasted red pepper. Sous vide? Egg bites? <laughs> Is it good? I also see people get the grilled cheese. I never had the grilled cheese. Oh, maybe I should try that. I'm gonna try the grilled cheese. Okay, let's see. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. I'm for you. Hi, just one moment, please. You're all good. Do you all have grilled cheese here? Okay, it's okay. Um, can I have that? And can I have it? I don't know. Do y'all have a way like to grill it hard? What was that? Do you have a way to like grill it hard? I really want it. Like extra long? Yeah. We can double, we can double toast it. Okay, yes. Can I get that, please? Anything else? Yes. Can I also have a caramel ribbon crunch in the size? venti? And can I have extra ribbon crunch on the top and bottom? Anything else? That's it. That's going to be Thank you. Hello. Thank you. No problem. Got a little too caramelly. They don't look like they put ribbon crunch at the bottom. I don't know that. Let's taste this. Let's taste this, y'all. It smells so good. And it's nice and cheesy. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is good. It's good. They're not using like regular um You know what would make this even more fire? If they had marinara sauce I can dip it in. <laughs> This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. I'm on my way home, y'all. I'll come back a little later. Well, it's 
actually afternoon so good afternoon we are actually about to leave and go out for bush gardens so i have a just i have like an all black thing going with yellow crocs <laughs> I wanted everybody, I wanted everybody to have on all black with orange Crocs, but I'm sorry about the light and it's just that time of the day, I guess. That's where we're at right now. We dropped the twins off to their grandparents. And yeah, I'm gonna be vlogging off of my phone though, because the camera that I have is like a big camera and I know I ain't gonna wanna like be walking around with it. So I'm gonna do some vlogging off my phone. Okay, I want, can I show them my teeth? This is who we going to celebrate, Noel. How old are you turning? Seven. Seven, yes. His birthday is October the 27th. So, let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
even though the quick queue is expensive it's like on top of the ticket price the quick queue was 130 dollars per person and we had a we had five people total so we had to pay a pretty penny for that however waiting in line for the hundred houses was a no-go i kind of knew that from previous going previous times but i'm so happy we definitely had it this time one couple was even saying like they waited in line for a hundred house for over an hour and um that particular hundred house wasn't even all that so they was like they upset that they waited for that long for it to be that but since we had a cute quick queue i don't think we had to wait in a line i like we haven't we had we didn't have to wait in a line for more than shit i would say like five minutes if that we didn't even have to wait in no lines for real but when it what Then they have it to where you could just get the quick queue for the hundred rides and then just a quick queue for the um hundred house but the one for just the hundred house by itself was 129 the one for just the rides by itself was 150 so that means that we would have been paying 150 plus 129 per person and we was not doing that so plus on top of the ticket price and we also got the all-day dining meaning that we can eat at the restaurants um, we can pay a certain amount of price which we did already and we eat at the restaurants every 90 minutes but that to me that was even a waste of money because it was so many people that we only went to one restaurant when we was about to eat to go to another one hold on one second so we only went to one restaurant because when we were about to go eat at another restaurant the line was so freaking long y'all I really wanted to get like a drink because they were selling like beers and cocktails I guess Elijah I'm I'm talking. so um well, the lines were so long for that also so we only ate at one restaurant so that was like a waste of money that we paid because I paid total for us a hundred and something dollars for us to be able to do all day dining and yeah but outside of those things as far as the price and the amount of people I re we really had fun um you know i went to celebrate noel's seventh birthday when she said he had fun he was like at the end he was like mommy i had so much fun he said bush gardens is cool and he was like but my legs hurt and my feet hurt and i can't wait to go home and take a shower and lay down he ain't take no shower but he <laughs> went to sleep though so he really had fun the other kids had fun also they weren't as scared they i feel like they were more so scared for the first time in the house because it, it was kind of unexpected because we was in line for another ride i thought it was like a completely different ride because normally it is a different ride but when we got in there it was a hunted house so that caught all of us off guard so anyway we had fun with that now it's sunday i'm about to go eat brunch with my friend at this place called canvas and then after that we have a viewing that we're gonna go to for remember i was talking to y'all earlier about it um somebody passed away so we have a viewing that we're gonna go to today you have fun at the garden i want to see my son yeah <laughs> the bad part about it what all was the, the walking all the walking we was all of our feet was hurting it's a lot of walking for real but i y'all when we get to i ain't do no makeup today y'all i ain't do no makeup today as you can see my eyebrows are barely there but whatever <laughs> i ain't do no makeup at all i just put my um sun, wash my face and put my sunscreen on and that's it because i say i don't feel like it put my contacts in because y'all know my glasses <laughs> they got tape on them Hey you guys, so surprise, I decided to extend this vlog. Today is Wednesday, October the 27th, 
And today is my baby Noel birthday. That is my, well now he's my seven year old. And um, all day today, I've been kind of like, let me just talk to y'all real quick. Right, right now, let's just to let you know, I'm on my way to Target. Target because I need to get him I want to get him some birthday stuff pretty much so I have not gotten anything for him at all as far as like oh my goodness my pants are going to be soaked y'all I just got my car clean today like I got a detail in the inside he came and shampooed my seats and all of those things so you know it'd be wet after I should have like put a towel down because now my pants are going to be wet great but haven't gotten him like any like a tangible is that the word a gift like you know an actual gift um other you know I, I took him to hollow screen that was part of his birthday celebration um which was interesting but that was part of his birthday celebration his dad actually bought him a new puppy i'm sorry for the lighting y'all it's like what time is it 3 24 so I guess wherever the sun is at is like not shining down the right way. But um, he didn't really ask for much. I was gonna get him a new tablet because he always, the first thing he asked for in the morning and when he get home from school is, mom, is your tablet charged up? That's the first thing he always asked. So I wanted to get him a new tablet. However, it was not gonna be here until like mid-November. So I was like, mm, I could just get him that for Christmas. So I asked him what he wanted for his actual birthday. And he said that he wanted, um, hold on, let me put in my GPS how to get to Target. Because I want to go to a specific Target. So when I asked him what he wanted for his birthday, he just was like he wanted Ro Robux or Ro whatever. Roblox I thought I don't know whatever it is that you can buy stuff uh I guess coins I don't even know what it is that they buy on that game but he plays Roblox so he wants Robux I think that's what it's called and he also said he wants slime which he ain't getting and he didn't say that he wanted anything else so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to five below and I'm also going to go to Target to see what I can get out of there as far as like a gift card and just to see what else they may have I already actually bought him a card I bought him a card a while ago um, that I saw that I really liked so I'll show you guys that later and I'm going to take him to Hooters tonight Hooters is his favorite restaurant and I'm going to buy him a balloon and a cake. My son is a little crazy, y'all. He likes stuff like his, the cake to be smashed in his face. That's what he liked last year. So I don't know if he want to do it again this year. I'm going to ask him, but he liked that. So I know he is really looking forward to um, me doing it, like really giving him a celebration for his birthday because, like, y'all, literally as soon as his birthday passes, He'd be like, Ma, I want this for my birthday. I'd be like, no, well, your it's February. Your birthday is in October. He don't care. He'd be talking about his birthday. So he did ask me to go bowling, but I told him that bowling, I really hate this lightning. Can y'all see me? He said that, um, oh, okay. He was, I told him that it's Wednesday, so bowling is really not, mm, like, we got the twins. It's just, you know, y'all got school tomorrow. It just ain't giving both. So, I, his dad asked him where he wanted to go, and I this weekend because I took him somewhere last weekend to Hollow Screen, and um, I told him to tell his dad that he want to go bowling. So, woo, I'm just now leaving out, even though it's later in the day. They're at my parents' house right now, but I'm just now leaving out because we have had quite an eventful day. Well, I guess like it's kind of been eventful we got solar panels installed on our roof so that took a long time they actually been here since like i want to say probably like 8 30 this morning and it's three now 
three thirty. So they said that it was gonna take around like eight hours. So they've been installing that. And um, then I had somebody come and clean my car. He actually came to my house and cleaned it. So I couldn't move for a while because of that because he was in the driveway cleaning it. So now that's done, they're done. Well, they're actually still installing the solar panels, but they said they about done. Um, so he's at the house making sure, and he's with the twins. So yeah, so I'm about to go to Target and yeah. So we have a little eventful day, y'all. Anything else I wanna update y'all with? Oh, you guys, I'm not with my trainer anymore. I know I mentioned earlier in the video that you know our schedules wasn't meeting up. So yeah, so I had to tell him today that you know we can just reconvene at a later date whenever our schedules are a little bit more, you know, compatible because I only could meet with him a certain amount of days a week. And it seemed like every single time that my one of like one of the days come that I could meet with him, he would have to end up canceling on me for whatever reason that he had going on in his life. So it just was like, you know, it wasn't benefiting me. So I'm just gonna have to discipline my mind, discipline my body to actually follow through. Cause I do have a workout plan that I bought, but it's like, I have to do it myself. And I needed somebody to hold me accountable. But being that with my life of how it is with the babies, it's just not, it just ain't giving what it's supposed to give. Like I can't go to the trainer whenever I want to because their dad work and I just can't, yeah, I can't do that. So I'm going to start the um, plan that I have on my phone. I'm going to start that Monday, which is November the 1st. And I'm gonna stick with it, y'all. I really, like, I gotta get this weight up off me. This is the biggest that I have ever been. Even though people, some people look at me and be like, you're not big, you bet, I feel big. Okay, I feel big. Okay, I'm in time, y'all. First of all, this so cute. What's just this? $50. I ain't coming here for that. Robux. Let me see. He want a remote control car. I guess this will be the aisle right here. What in the world? Look at this big ass thing right here. Oh my goodness. He would have too much fun with that. Oh, look at this one. This is cool. It say this drop on water. Indoor and outdoor. I think he would like this one. Or should I get these one? What's the difference? Okay, let me see. When would he really drive it on water? I'm gonna get him this one. Yeah. Okay. Time to go now. All right, y'all. So I'm leaving Target now, and I'm about to take this stuff to the car. I'm about to take this stuff. Hold on. I'm leaving Target now. I'm about to take this stuff to the car, and then where did I park it? Down now. But it is what it is. Okay, let me see. Okay, y'all. So I secured the balloons. Can you see? I got him with one big number seven. And then I got him 12 other of just assorted. It really wasn't no color scheme. One of them had like a... Uh, um a game remote control up there and then the other one had like two number sevens then the is anybody behind me lord oh, please i hope i don't hurt nobody because i can't say so i can't i can't vlog y'all i can't vlog i gotta go look at the sunset guys it looks so pretty the camera not doing it 
of justice, but it looks beautiful. I got him a candle and a daggone thing broke. So I'm gonna try to super glue this together, being that you know you don't eat this part. And then I'm going to put the other can sorry. I'm gonna put the other candles. I got these on that. Wait, come on. Come on, come on, man. <laughs> You seem so unenthusiastic. Yeah. Uh -huh. You ready? You ready? Is this Woody? Yeah, yeah, one of them. All right. Your dad on the phone too. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Can he? Let me turn it around so he can see you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. He about to open his gift, so. Okay, can I just, Wait, I can't move my camera. Oh, yeah, go ahead, boy. Sorry. Can I go oh, you gotta make a wish, no. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta wish. make a wish. Um, I think it's my brain or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want, wish. Um. <laughs> you ain't, well, you ain't gonna tell us what the wish is, huh? I'm not to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The controller. You can play that at home. What is it called? A grave diver, huh? Grave digger. No digger. controller next to it. I was going to look at it real quick. Wait, um, I don't want to rip this. You can rip it. You can rip it. It's all right. When, when somebody you like your you, car? When somebody sends you some money, just tear the paper up. Don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, don't tell the money. Oh, oh. It's all good. Uh, I don't want to yes, you do. Try. Color? No, read the whole thing. What? I see you. What could it be? You got that. Color. Cooler. You Cooler got that. Then. Yeah, that's why I love you. Mm -hmm. You love to see your grandpa kiss. Seven question. Seven question mark. Mm -hmm. Oh my, oh my god. god. My bad. You got a $25. Why was this free? What? It says free. It says a free virtual item. So I told won't spin? Yeah, you $25 and you get a gift with that song. So how much money you have on the gift? McDonald's Gun! Did you read this on the car? Dang. You see how people do? Let me you read mine. You just took whatever was in it and that was it. Being you and turning seven. Thing. Happy birthday, is that Happy is that birthday, it? Stink. Is that it? We love you so much. Wow. Hi, boy. What you doing? Put some of my cake. Oh, this, this for me. You, you gave it to me. I can put it in my pocket. Put some of my cake. I can use this tomorrow for my life. Yeah. I need a support. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? <laughs> yeah. Good and hang. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day, and we just left to take care of Mr. Khalil to the doctor. And now we're about to sit down and eat. We're at this place called Hair of the Dog. And today I'm gonna try something different. They changed their menu, so they got a lot of different things. I see that they got a peanut butter and jelly martini. They have 
a peanut butter and jelly martini. I also see the apple cran Tennessee mule, Snoop Dogg gin and juice. But I definitely want to try the cheeseburger egg roll that they have. We've been here so many times, but they definitely changed their menu. As far as food though, I'm gonna get the carnivore without the ham. I'm gonna get the carnivore omelet. And home fries. How do pancakes taste like? You said what? How, do, how does the pancakes taste like? I do. I like it. That's what I always do. I like it. You got it before? And the twins are asleep. Thank you. Let's cut it, y'all. Mm, you see that? Yeah, I see that. Yeah. He enjoyed his food, but I didn't, I, you know, I, I went with something that I had before, but it's not something that I frequently get. And I had to send it back once because it does have bacon in it. And I don't like, like, I like my bacon to be crispy. I like it to have a crunch. I don't like to taste the bacon fat at all. So it had bacon fat in it a lot. And I just couldn't eat it like that. So I sent it back and they came back. And to me, it's. It, the second time it wasn't that the bacon fat but it just it just won't do it for me so I probably won't get that again and I also had got the um, loaded potato soup and it was the same thing like it had bacon in it so it had a lot of bacon fat and I just don't like that so other than that though uh, the mimosa flights was cool I do feel like the presentation could have been a little bit better because it's like put some sugar on the rim okay list which one is which you know um but i guess it got the job done <laughs> and what else oh we actually lucked up twice you guys so yesterday you know we went to hooters and when we went to hooters yesterday we had to wait so long that they end up giving us a discount on the bill you know usually the discount be like 10 percent, 20 percent, 15 percent, something like that but they gave us a big discount because the bill was 99 dollars, and we only end up had to pay 46 so they gave us a big discount um and then here this is kind of a bad thing on their on like the other table part where he said the waitress said that he accidentally gave the table behind us our ticket like our bill and they paid it and didn't notice and then they left so he gave us their ticket and their ticket was cheaper so yeah so we kind of lucked up with that but that was bad you know for the other party but we lucked up twice in two days finally some luck coming because october been some bs but we are about to go to ikea because are we going to west elm first okay so we're going to west elm actually Getting better with that, yeah. eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> you need a job for. Huh? This is the couch we got, but see, yeah, yeah. yeah, you see how the earth is like in the middle? And then you see how the pillow is. You're right, I need a look, huh? So the three like this and then one. Okay, this is the same couch we got. It's not for my room. I'm looking for the living room. <laughs> and it's not ugly. Shut up. I really don't see. Do you know me?
They got pasta bowls. Twelve dollars and fifty cent. <laughs> you really want some? They got stuff. Oh, look at this flower utensils. What about these, babe? You like these? You guys, it is later in the day now. I'm trying to take over like you did. I, I was the one doing those cookies. You just got there. First Somewhere. of all, I'm cooking. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you want to do this? Go ahead. I'm to take over do you want to do this? Yeah. First of all, okay, let me tell y'all. It's later in the day now. I'm about to cook dinner. Okay? I'm cooking nachos tonight. Um, and I asked him to brown the meat, which consists of putting the meat in the pan. He, first of all, y'all, he had to add no seasoning. All he did was put the meat in the pan, break the meat up, and you know, move it around so it can brown. That's all I asked him to do. I came down here, I put the seasoning in there, and now I'm mixing it up again so the seasoning can be well coated. Since you think you did something. Well, so why I didn't get on the video? I was doing my part here. Cause I wasn't down part. here. Yeah, <laughs> Do you want to be in the video? I look like a true mama right now. Bonnet, robe, everything like that, y'all. I feel like it's uh, like I feel like it's a World War Three in my uterus right now. I'm cramping so bad, which I don't know why because I'm not due to you know that time of the month yet. But I am cramping so bad, so I didn't even want to do this. I asked him to cook because he know how to cook. Um, he know how to cook nachos because I taught him. <laughs> and he didn't want to cook it though. So, yeah. So that's what we about to cook. Very simple meal. I want to show y'all what I got from West Elm because I did end up getting something from West Elm. And I also want to show y'all what I got from Target because I don't know if I showed y'all. I mean, it really wasn't like a lot of stuff, but I did get some stuff from Target. And I think that's it. The twins is upstairs. In the crib. Okay, y'all. So we got another crib for Khalil because at first we only had one crib. So we got another crib because Khalil, my baby is so long. Okay, I think I mentioned that in the 24 hours with twins um video. He is so long. He is in 100th percentile. So that means that he is he's 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 way like yeah. So he's long. Um and it was just not enough room. And plus, Khalil like to get up in the middle of the night and just throw himself back down. So I ain't want him to throw himself on Kaylani. So we got another crib. And I had to get the mattress for the cribs is just not comfortable. Well, whatever the mattress I got anyway. So I had to get a foam topper, which y'all saw me cut in one of my other vlogs. I had to cut it to match his mattress. So they're both in that crib, long story short, because they got to get our eye bed, right? Right, Papa? Yep. They gotta get out our
some of the nachos is done. My baby got 2% milk cheese and for some reason it's not milk and milk. It's all good, we still gonna eat it. <laughs> just tell something went right with my car so I was like what is that noise so I pull over and then I was like okay let me just keep going <laughs> even though that probably wasn't the best option I was like let me keep going and see if the noise just go away because it's raining so I didn't know if like I don't know so I get out y'all and my whole tire is flat you know how like stuff just happening and then it's like, do you get a flat tire? Like, great. Just put the cherry on top, will you? So that's what's been going on. So now I gotta call Geico. One flat. Do you have a good spare? Yes. Do I have custom wheels? No. Do you have lock and lug nuts? Don't know what that is. So save and continue. Hey, good morning. How you doing? You want me to get the tire out of the back? Well, yeah, I need the tire. Okay. But when I jack up the car, you might have to get out of the car. Okay. So you guys, my lug is stripped <laughs> and Papa Lock said that they can't break it because something about it's a liability. So now my dad is going to come break the lug and then he can change the tire. Daddy, how long you think it's gonna take? I don't know if he have another job or what, but he asked how long would it take. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, call me. <sighs> Lord, what is going on with my car? Why is nobody able to hear me via Bluetooth? I'm irritated. Y'all, it's been an eventful morning. I'm about to go take my car to the people that put my tires on he told me to bring it up there and I did I don't know if I reported that part but I did have um flat tire repair balance and rotation for the life of the tires so I'm going to go ahead and take my tire and my car up there so they can fix it that way I ain't gotta worry about my dad doing it and I ain't gotta you know keep holding off with doing it so I'm gonna take my car up there and then 
I am going to get my boyfriend to come pick me up, take me back to the house. Cause I gotta work. All right, yeah. You guys, it is much later. It is 6, 17 p.m. Let's have a chat. So, first of all, and I hope I don't cry. No, I'm gonna definitely cry because I'm a cancer. So, hold on. Let me get some tissue. First of all, let me tell y'all. So what happened with my car is that I took it to, remember the last thing I updated y'all was I took it to the dealership for they can change my flat. So then they end up calling me and they told me that I needed three new tires because my car needed a front wheel alignment and being that it needed a front wheel alignment for so long, which I didn't even know I needed it. <laughs> Being that it needed a front wheel alignment for so long, it messed up the front two tires. And you know, my back tire went flat this morning, so I needed three new tires. And they also said that I needed my brakes changed. So they told me that that was gonna equate to 600 and something dollars. So to not be prepared to pay for something like that, it just was like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just wasn't prepared. So, and to hear that, I'm just like, oh, another thing that happened. So, it made me cry because, you guys, I just feel like October, Lord, October has been a month, okay? Hold on. I just feel like since the beginning of October, I never um, considered myself a, a, an empath to where I take on other people's problems and like feel them emotionally, but I feel like I am and I don't even realize that I am. From the beginning, like from October 3rd, it's just been a mess. Um, that was the first day that I found out something. Um, hold on y'all. It's just been so much happening. Um, October 3rd, that's when I found out something happened to my friend. And, um, I'm not going to say what it is because that's her personal business. But, you know, it, it really, like, affected me more than what I thought it, it, it really, uh, was affecting me but then nine days later somebody close to me passed away then about uh a couple of days later after i found out somebody very close to me passed away I found out that this person was not close to me, but they were the best friend of somebody close to me. So I knew them. I saw them very often. I don't want to say who it was the best friend to because, you know, I just don't. But it was the best friend of somebody close to me and I saw them often. And, you know, they did different things like play football with my son. You know, then I found out that they passed away. And... Like I said, I never thought that I was an empath, but I really, well, I don't even think that's, I just, you never know how emotion, like you never know how something is affecting you until it just all come out. On top of that, in my own life, I just feel like every day just been a mess. All October, everything just been a mess. I feel like that I didn't have any balance. I feel like that my life in my head was just all over the place. You know, I work out with a trainer, which I have mentioned in my vlog before. I had to cancel with my trainer the other day as far as like telling him I can't work out with him anymore because our schedules were just not matching up. Um, 
I feel like I was not on, on track uh, physically as far as trying to lose weight or even at the gym. And then today, these problems, it's just been a lot, you guys. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. You know, um, of course, you know, I'm not going to go into details of exactly what happened because I just can't have people in my personal business like that. But just know I'm going through it. And today has just been a day. It has been a day. It's October the 29th. And I'm just hoping that, you know, I know time and calendars and all of that is man-made like your life is not just gonna change in november you know what i'm saying but i just hope that it gets better for me you know so that's where i'm at right now the twins are asleep my oldest son is upstairs on the game my seven-year-old is with his dad this weekend so i was upstairs um just watching YouTube videos, having me a little dranky drink, and you know, just mellowing out. Um, but I did want to come up here and update you guys because I feel like with the goals that I'm trying to set for my channel and for a relationship with y'all, you know, I want to be open as much as I can because I feel like it's not safe for anyone to be completely open. It's so many people out there that judge you and don't understand and not only that i really do feel like that i'm going through postpartum uh i hate the term postpartum depression but i'm just i'm just i'm going through it right now so with that being said just leave some kind words you guys leave some kind words just so you know to make me feel better um Somebody, they just did deliver a package from Amazon. They don't even ring the doorbell, y'all. I don't know why they don't ring the doorbell. Like, what's wrong with y'all? So, let me see. I had ordered. got me a case of uh, oh it's heavy hold on um lift it drinks someone told me about these drinks and when i was pregnant um in recommendation for it to give me energy but i never drunk them i just happened to grab one the other day when i was at food line i mean not food line i grabbed one the other day when i was at um 7-eleven and I really like it, you guys. I take it with my pre-workout and I drink this before I work out. And I really feel like this gives me a lot of energy. They do have options of non-carbonated and sparkling water. Meaning, like, if you don't like that sparkling water, like, taste like a soda. You know what I'm saying? Like, fizzy. If you don't like that taste, then I would recommend doing the non-carbonated. Um, which, that's why I got that. But it helps boost your metabolism. Um, burn fat and give you energy and let me see I think it's 10 calories 10 calories for a whole can so I got a case of this from Amazon so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the fridge I'm waiting on my food you guys let me see what I get headed to me 636 okay so I'm just waiting on my food and then I'm gonna go upstairs the twins are asleep like I mentioned earlier but I'm gonna wake them up at like their bedtime is 8:30. So should I wake them up? They went to sleep at like five something. So that's way too early. But they haven't went to sleep in a while. Cause listen, baby, when I go to sleep, I ain't trying for the don't wake me up. <laughs> you gonna be feeding yourself. So I'll probably wake them up around seven and let them stay up um until like 8:30 and then they go back to sleep so sorry i cried on camera but i try to be as vulnerable as i can to you you guys because i just want you to i one thing i do not like when it comes to watching like influencers youtubers whatever i don't like ones to try to make it seem like life is just all bliss because it's not I don't like the ones that try to make it seem like you always look good all the time. It's never like a down moment, baby. 
I'm down majority of the time, okay? So, I just try to be as vulnerable as I can because I want to show you all, like, I'm just like you, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's why I do what I do. That's why I'm as vulnerable as I can be. That's why I come on camera looking how I look because guess what, baby? I'm a mother. I'm a mother! Who said that? No drama! All right, I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> 11.20 now, so let me show you right quick what I got from Tiger and West Elm. So, y'all probably already see when I vlog, but I got this for Kehlani from Target. It just says a uh, little pumpkin on it. They did not have anything in there for Khalil, so that's what I was saying earlier where, you know, I have an outfit for her, but I don't have anything for him. And I had ended up getting this at Walmart too. It has like cute little cherries on it. And I also got this to match a bow. Y'all, it's crazy because when I found out that I was having a girl, everybody was like, oh, I know you still have it because you have all boys and you finally having a girl and you'll be able to dress her up. And I was not excited. Literally, when they took the pictures, like their uh, photo shoot pictures that I put up, I told her, I, I said that whatever color you use, I don't want pink on her. That's what I said. <laughs> now look at me. <laughs> I got this from... Uh, Burlington this was $10.99 for this set so it come with the little pants that have bunnies on it shirt and a little headband the headband that I just showed you was $5.99 and then the cherry outfit was $7.99 and then the pumpkin outfit was $12.99 Okay, I got these pants for her also. I thought these were just so cute, you guys. And I got these for $8.99. I didn't get Khalil anything because his dad... Well, actually, the other day I did go to Walmart and I got him some stuff. But his dad bought him some clothes. So, I took care of Khalil and he took care of Khalil. So, anyway. So, you guys, stay with me, okay? Stay with me. I need your help. So, you know my couch downstairs is gray, right? Right? Okay. So, my couch downstairs is gray. But I have in, in my kitchen area, and I'll take a picture. So, on the screen, my couch is gray, right? So, I have, like, gray flooring. Everything is, like, very much cool tone gray white black i am not a cool tone person at all i like warm colors however when it come down to my what the heck is that you know what i'm gonna just keep talking i see the biggest hugest spider i'm just glad that it's not in here okay um yeah i don't like bugs okay so in my kitchen though i have different accents of like wood so like my um coasters are wood my knife block is a wood color my paper towel holder is wood i have like wood uh utensil holders on the counter what else do i have wood um i have like a little wood um, you can do it coffee thing on like the butler pantry area so I have different wood accents so I kind of wanted to do a wood table in the morning room okay so y'all told me that my my table that I have in my morning room was too small I agree it is too small so we're gonna get a new table and I want to do a wood table so let me show y'all the table that I want to I'm gonna matter of fact I'm gonna just insert a video I'm gonna show you the wood table that I want to get right so when I went to West M I saw these pillow covers right that looks like this I hope it's picking up like because sometimes the camera so I don't know if you can tell but the stitching 
is like gray right so i felt like that that would have been perfect because my couch is gray and i'm adding different accents of wood and warm colors because i wanted it to be cohesive and i wanted it to look right i don't want it to look like completely off so what do you guys think do you think that that would look right do you think a wood table would look right just looking at the video of them two together let me turn the brightness down because okay just looking at the video of these two together i feel like these would now mind you these are not going to be right on top of each other this is going to be in the morning room and then this will be on the couch but being that we have an open floor plan i want everything to be you know like I don't want you to look over to the living room and it's a completely different scheme and you look in the kitchen it's something else and then the morning room is something else i want it to go all together because when you look at it it's gonna just be all right so what do you think i actually paid um so let me tell you how much these were i got two of them these was 47.50 and it's only the pillow cover right so what do you think do you think will look right because as soon as i walked in west elm like the first time i had went with my boyfriend and the twins then the second time he just we had went into like pottery barn and william and sonoma to look at other stuff and then we went back to west elm but this time he didn't come in so when i went in there i was just looking around and i was like i really like that like it just i immediately said i want that so i got two of those and um west elm they also had other stuff in there like oh also you know from target i got this robe that y'all see i love me a robe honey so i got this robe and i did get um like a black bodysuit y'all saw me picked up i got that from target too but i already wore it so it's dirty anyway i also seen in west elm they have like you know how like an end table on to your couch so we have to put an end table um by the couch because it's a gap between the couch and the garage door so something needs to be there it looks too like blank um it looks too empty so they actually have like a wood tree trunk looking in table and i'm just like i don't want to like overdo it with the wood accents but i do just want it to bring it all together so that's my goal that's what i'm trying to do y'all so let me know in the comments below what you think. Be honest. I'm not going to be offensive. This is what y'all here for. That's why I'm sharing it because I want y'all opinion. So I am about to go ahead and plan out my Friday faves of what I want to put up. I, put, I did it all the way till the... Um, I did it all the way until the... I did it all the way until the end of the year so I could plan out in advance what I want my videos to be on. And I am thinking about doing Vlogmas, you guys. I really, really do want to do Vlogmas because I feel like it would help with my consistency. And I also feel like it would build a rapport with my audience because I feel like sometimes y'all don't know exactly like who I am, my life on a daily basis, stuff like that. So I really do want to do Vlogmas, not more so for the revenue, but more so of like just building my channel. So I do want to do that. And I just need to really be consistent in November so that I can like get, uh, like it'll just come second nature for me to be consistent. Um, I really do want to start waking up at 5 a.m. That's really, really been one of my goals for the longest. I don't feel like that you have to wake up at 5 to be productive, no. But I feel like with me being a mother and my kids wake up early anyway and they have to go to school by 8.30, it's just easier for me to have at least an hour, an hour and a half to myself where I could just plan and get my mind right. So, um, that's my goals for November. And I also am about to write down what I'm going to be eating for um, all of next week. And I probably just start with week one. Let's just let's just start with week one. 
okay because I ha I go to the grocery store and I get a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need and it end up going bad so I'm gonna sit here and write down literally breakfast lunch dinner snacks Monday through Sunday what I'm going to eat so when I go to the grocery store I know exactly what I need to get what ingredients should I need to get that's what I'm about to sit here and do so that's what I'm doing today you guys I really don't feel like that I'm gonna go anywhere because I don't know because tomorrow I said that I need to stay in the house tomorrow I need to stay in the house and get the house together as far as like clean before November 1st I want to start a new month fresh I'm speaking in existence that November will be much better because October was ghetto honey I don't know what that was okay I don't know what that was so that's what I'm doing and yeah so this video probably already long so yeah all right you guys so it's about 7 30 now and i'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here um yeah i have not really did anything since the last time y'all talked to me she broke my blinds today she just snatched it and three of the daggone things came off yeah you 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 think it's funny and then this one clear Hi, boo -boo. <laughs> I just ordered me some fruit from this place called Bar Louis. It's a burger with a egg on it. And I got loaded chili and cheese fries. So yeah. So that's going to be it for this weekly vlog. I really feel like that this is gonna be a long vlog. smiling she doing that because i'm talking why you want the attention to be on you you making all that noise that's gonna be it for this weekly vlog you guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram at all things event the same as my youtube channel and i guess she's telling me i gotta go bye